Hi, it's Natasha. Today we are going to do a yoga power flow. Let's start in child's pose. Drop your forehead to the mat. Allow your shoulders to be heavy. You can keep the knees together if your back is feeling tight. If your hips are feeling tight, let's open up the knees. Meeting your body exactly where it is in this moment, taking some time to relax the muscles in the face, the forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Allowing that ease to float down the spine, low back hips, even the feet and the fingers. Let everything go and then start to change the focus into the breathing. Let's fill the breath, expanding through the back body. And then a big sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Continue trying to deepen the breathing with equal parts. So maybe you count to four on your inhale and you do that same count to four on your exhales. Imagine bringing this new, fresh, clean air into the body, new energy, new clean oxygen. And then as you exhale, imagine any stress, tension, anxiety, judgment, expectations leaving the body. Start to add a little bit of movement, simply shifting your hips side to side. Let's crawl the arms out and continue to sway and walk fingertips long. Walking your hands across to the front of the mat or off the mat and then shifting your weight. Breathing into the back body, moving in a way that feels good for you. Shift to the other side. Deep breath in. Bring your hands out and we're going to come into tabletop. Knees under hips. Spread the fingers wide. Index finger points forward. Grip the mat with the fingertips. Let's come onto the fingertips and then prop down to the hands a couple of times. Fingertip strength. Palms press. And then lift the palms. Drop the palm. Stretching the fingers. Good. Circling around the fingers, start to stir, jetting your shoulders beyond the fingers a couple of times. Good. And then coming in the center, lifting the head chest. Good. And dropping the shoulders away. And then exhale, scoop the belly in, push the shoulder blades apart, drop the head, shake it out. Inhale, lift head chest and tailbone. Exhale, round, engage the belly to spine. Inhale, use the back muscles to squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. And then exhale, round. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes under. Walk your fingertips to your knees and then sit on the bottom of the toes. Pull out your pinky toe. See if you can settle into this discomfort. Take some breaths here. Really healthy for those feet. We want the mobility of our feet and toes. Start to engage the quad muscles and the core. Gentle pelvic tilt. This one might have you on your bottom, but we're gonna try it. Shift back. See if you can catch in this low squat. And then gently, just as powerfully, come up to a toe stand. See if you can start to shift the knees forward. Good, it's okay to lose balance. Just try it, good. High camel stretch, open up like you're prying the heart to sky. Round and pry the heart open, elbows kissing backwards, good. One more time if you're up for it, lean, see if you can catch this, the little low squat. And then slowly with control, toe stand, highest heels, melt the knees, try not to slam down, and then press up into plank. Drop the shoulders down strongly. Again, spread the fingers, tuck the tail, firm the quads, firm the belly, and then let's lift the tailbone, downward facing dog, pedal. Bend one knee, bend the other knee, twist the hips, 
side to side, rotating the knee under the body. Nice. We can pick up one set of toes, push them into the heels, press your chest back. You can bend the knees, straighten. Try the other one. Bend, straighten, shift. Cat the back into plank again. So we're going to round and use the core to get forward. And then tailbone up. One more time. Round and sweep. And then melting the knees ever so slowly to hover, hover, jump plank, hover. One more time, hovering table, plank, knees down, modified plank, knees, chest, chin. Maybe you start with a small dip, squeeze up. Maybe you go right to 90 degree elbows, shoulders never dipping lower than the heart. We're going to squeeze the belly in. Press away. One more time. Knees, chest, chin. Then your belly and chest land at the same time. Circle the wrists while you're here using the back body to lift. Stretch the arms back. Circle the wrists. Lift the legs. Locust. Back body squeezing up and in. Drop your right ear. Deep breath in. Big sigh out. Blink the fingers while you're here. Open, close the hands. One more time. Inhale, squeeze the back body. Lift powerfully. Energy up and left ear melts. Maybe shake the hips a little bit from side to side. Releasing through the low back. Tuck your toes under. Bring your chin forward. Press the palms right by the chest. Dig the fingertips down and then see if you can press away. High plank, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. And then start to just take a cobra. And then again, just like we did a little knee, chest, chin, see if you can find the place where your back feels really good. Shoulders down, heart pressing forward. Maybe we take the gaze up or at the top of the mat. Upward facing dog if you're ready for it. Elbow crease turns forward, shoulders press down, heart presses forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees so deeply, your thighs get to press into the belly and then straighten. Bend and straighten and then tiptoe and heels. It's okay if the heels don't land, just do the best you can. The knees can also be bent. Take it a little step closer. Look up at the hands, bend the knees, press into the fingertips. We're just gonna practice jumping. Tuck the knees into the chest a few times. See if you can get the hips up. Lift. The last one we jump forward, jump to the hands. Hanging forward fold, Uttanasana. Shake the head. Again, maybe you circle the wrists while you're here. Take your opposite elbow, allow the body to hang heavy. Let gravity take over. Imagine any tension or stress is just dropping off your head to the mat. Big breath in, big sigh out. Open up the feet a little bit and then just rock it side to side or maybe make a little half circle. Hmm. Nice halfway lift. Sending arms back, crown of the head forward. Utkatasana, sit in your chair. Halfway, squeeze. Try to dip into the toes, fire the core. Maybe you lift the heels and then drop into the heels. Tuck the tail, firm the belly. One more time. Halfway fold. See if you can squeeze, tilt forward. Maybe you fall forward. Maybe you save it and then sit. And we'll take it down. Last time, Uttanasana, and then rolling up the spine, rag doll. Tadasana, mountain pose. Spread your toes, firm the quads, lift the kneecaps, squeeze the ribs in, belly to spine, gentle tuck of the tail, chest proud, shoulders back and down, palms wide, surrender to this moment. Relax the muscles in the face, connect to the breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Maybe you breathe with a Ujjayi Pranayama breath, which is done through the nose. And we'll keep that heat building into the core. 
Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let's grab the opposite elbow and then just kind of pry the chest and shoulders open for a nice deep stretch. We can take it into a side bend, grounding down into the feet and all 10 toes, lift up, inhale, exhale up and over, side bending, powerful legs, strong core, and lift. Let's swing the arms behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then see if we can move the chest forward, the arms up and down. If your shoulders are tight, that might feel hard. Press the palms down, lift the chest proudly to the sky. Only drop the head if it feels good. Good, and then we can just add a little gentle twist. Maybe you bend one elbow, hook it across, fists over, hip, take that gaze across the opposite shoulder, draw the belly in. Opposite elbow bend, so we give it a nice hook, and we turn the gaze away as we draw the belly in. Soft knees. Good, release it. Little swinging of the arms. Maybe a crisscross. And then a deep breath in mountain. Let's flow. Inhale, stretch it up. Maybe we take a gentle back bend if that feels good for you. And then exhale, swan dive over the body, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We turn the back muscles on. It's supported, so maybe it's on the shins. If you're very flexible, it could still be down at the mat. Release, bend the knees as much as you need to to connect the palms down. Start to push the shoulders down, engage the core, and take a jump. If you're up for it, you could try that a few times. Good. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. We're gonna shift the elbows into the ribs. Find a line, and then upward facing. Shoulders down, heart forward, exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breathing. Let's take the right leg up. We're gonna keep the hips square for a moment. Then we'll bend the knee like a hamstring curl and turn the knee up towards the sky, opening up the hip. Hip circles might feel nice for you right here. Circle a couple times one way, the other way. A fun little exercise I'd like to add on is maybe dropping down to a funky down dog split, dropping to the left forearm, walking the right fingertips out. Continue to open the hip and breathe. Press the right hand down to push yourself up. Re-square the hips, knee to nose, come high on the left toes, and tuck. We're gonna shift the knee down and up. Two, and three, and then press it back. This time, stepping through, we've created the space. Push the shoulders down, tuck the knee in, and find the space to step on through. Knee stays in line with the front toes. We shift and breathe. We find flexibility and space in the left hip flexor and quad. Length through the heart. Let's drop the back knee, low lunge. Inhale, proud chest. Exhale, cactus shape the elbows wide. Nice. Lift it up. Fingertips forward. Blocks might be handy for you. Shift to half split, your Ardha Hanumanasana. We're gonna swing or swivel the hips a little bit. And then make sure the left hip is forward and the right hip is back. Trying to find the long spine. The knee might be bent here. And again, blocks might be handy for you. Fun little core drill I like to throw in. We're gonna push down into the fingertips or blocks, round the spine like you're doing cat, and see if you can lift this left heel, sorry, right heel off of the mat. So you're gonna feel the core fire up pretty intensely if you're able to do this. But even if you're not and you're here, you should still feel the work happening. So wherever you are, the effort is your work. Let's shift forward, swing it up through high lunge. Good. Breathe here, we're gonna bring it back down, and then go through a flow, your own choice, high to low, upward facing down, or you're modifying or skipping the vinyasa. Shift, settle, breathe, connect to the breath. Left leg up, reach high, keep the hips square, drop the right heel as much as possible, hamstring curl, turn on the hamstring, and then turn the hip open. Maybe you choose to circle or find stillness. 
Equal weight in both hands. Are we spreading the fingers wide, gripping the mat with the fingers? Here's your little option. Maybe you drop down to the right elbow, forearm. It's a little funky down dog split. Fingertips out or palm. And then press yourself up. Left, right, re-extend. Tuck the knee into the nose, make space. How high can you pull the shin away from the mat? And then dip it three times. Dip, squeeze, dip, squeeze, bring it back. This time let's create that space and step all the way through. Power up that back leg, squeeze the belly in. Breathe here. Bring the knee down, untuck the toes. Reach up through high lunge. Feel the right hip flexor in the quad. Find space so that knee is way behind the hip if possible. Pry the heart open. Chest to sky. Reach it up. Fingertips. Frame the front foot. Shift back or your blocks are here for you. Swivel the hips. And then end with the left hip back, right hip forward. Space in the spine. Try to keep a flat back. Breath is moving. Here's your powered up core drill. If you'd like to take it, push down, cat the back, protract the shoulders, and see if you can plug that belly in. You got your quad hip flexor working. Maybe you pulse. Maybe you don't get any lift at all. And then we'll shift. Tuck the back toe under. Let's lift up through high lunge. Just take a couple breaths, re-expanding through the abdominals after that hard drill. Good, squeeze, lower down, palms to mat, and here's your optional flow. Push down so strongly that that foot slips back like nothing ever happened. High to low, up dog, and downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths here. Step, jump, hop, float, however you get to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, flow, flush and fold it and then reverse it all the way up. Let's go again, inhale, exhale, folding. Inhale, halfway lift, and flush it out. Fold, shake, shimmy, whatever you need to do. Press the palms, jump back, your flow. High to low, up dog, down dog. Right leg up, bend the knee, stack the hip, we're gonna thread the leg underneath the body, and then maybe you find this side plank variation. Can we draw the foot down and then slide it out to ball and triangle? Fun option, bend the knee, try and step on the foot, fallen warrior. Swing it back around, re-extend, step through, high lunge. Breath in and out. Twisting lunge, pull the arms apart. Try not to lean forward. See if you can keep your shoulders over your hips. Breathe. Nice, take it back. Exalted, grab for your hamstring or wrap your fingers around the outer thigh. Lift, and then we're gonna take this little cartwheel arm, left down, right comes forward. Warrior two, belly in. 90 degree knee in the front if possible. Watch the knee isn't caving. Press it out, tuck the tail. Pull the arms in opposition, drop the shoulders. Imagine you're trying to draw your heels towards one another. Flip the palm, reverse. Proud warrior, heart to sky. Active side angle. Both arms reach, turn the gaze up. Breathe deeply, it's a tough one and we'll pull it on back, Skandasana. Halfway lunging to the back, weights in the left heel. If you're very flexible, maybe you bring it all the way down. We're gonna lift up to warrior two, lift and shift. Half moon, block or fingertips to mat. Shift up, stack shoulders, stack hips, flex out the back foot, engage everything. We stack and open, maybe turn the gaze up. Left hand drops, standing split. Drop the head, kick the leg up. 
Doesn't matter where the foot is in space, just keep it active. Your own level, working hard. Good, gaze forward, fingertips down, back knee into front knee, Shiva, supported warrior three. Shiva, warrior three, and then like a pendulum, we're gonna start to swing this leg, and here's just a fun option. If you'd like, you could try to jump the hips up. Maybe you get a moment, maybe it's just jumping. All right, your choice, flow through a vinyasa. You could go from your L to chaturanga. Catch your breath here, connect, breathe, shake the head, shimmy the hips. We can find movement or stillness. I'm gonna take off my socks now. Hang out a couple of breaths. If you need a child's pose, maybe a good place to take it. Left leg is going to lift. Good, bend the knee, stack open the hip. We're gonna thread the leg all the way under. Maybe you find this extended side plank. Sweep the leg forward. See if you can turn it into fallen triangle. And then bend the front knee, send the hips forward, heart to sky, fallen warrior. Bring the right hand down, scoop the belly in, re-extend, this time stepping through. High lunge. Breathe. Couple of breaths here. Connect. Slow the heart rate down. Reach strongly through the arms. Plug the shoulders down. Plug the belly in. And then twist. Keep the shoulders over the hips. Try not to lean forward. Imagine someone is gently pulling you back. Grab a hold of the back leg. Reach the right arm up by the ear. Exalted, lift the chest, spin the right hand back, left arm forward. Warrior two, check in with the form. Maybe about heel to heel alignment. Keep the hips gently tucked under and open. Knee over, ankle, arm spreading, looking over your front fingers. Strong active back leg, pinky toe grounding as well. Flip and reverse. Proud heart to sky, reach back. Let hand can be down the leg or around the back. Active side angle, both arms over 45 degrees, twisting the heart up, bending into that knee. So much effort here, <laughs> breathe. And then skandasana to the back of your mat. It's a single leg lunge. Knee stays over the toes. If you'd like, you could come deeper. And then we're going to meet in warrior two, lift and left knee bends. Deep breath in, half moon coming up, cartwheel down, and then find your balance. Block might be handy, fingertips, palm down, stack the shoulders, maybe the gaze goes up, open this right hip, squeeze everything, it's okay to fall, all part of the practice, some days we're balanced, some days we're all over the place. See if you can clear the mind and make a strong body. Right hand down, standing split. Kick the leg up, it doesn't matter where it is as long as it's your best and it's strong and powerful up there. Walk the fingertips out, shiva. Back knee into front, weight shifts back and then supported warrior three. You're on your blocks, fingertips or palms, depending on your flexibility, inhale. Exhale, start to power this leg like a pendulum. And when you feel strong, you could practice jumping. You don't have to be able to hold anything to just play upside down. Heart rate really starts to pump when we jump or move the hips over the head. Good, breathe. Nice work, your flow. Down dog, shake, shimmy, breathe. Let's take it to the knees, child's pose. Elbows down, palms to the base of the neck. 
Allow the triceps to stretch, the heart to be heavy, the back to be rounded, the breath to really fill the body. Let's come onto the forearms. Tuck the toes under, dolphin. Lift the hips. Maybe you need to bend the knees. Push the shoulders down, broadening the shoulder blades. And then maybe you tiptoe back, tuck the tail, find your forearm plank. Nice. We're going to lower down to sphinx. Send the hips down, heart forward. Physically draw your mat backwards to open the heart. Tuck the toes, look down. Scoop the belly in, work backwards. Walk to dolphin. You could do single leg dolphin. You could also practice those little jumps we just did on the hands. Up to you, a few each side. Really important that the elbows don't start to flare out because that's when you get the face plant happening. So see if you can really keep drawing the elbows under the shoulders. If it's not happening for you, you could grab a block or just be sure to stretch the shoulders so that they're more flexible and they don't want to expand. Let's do a puppy pose. So we will get this nice shoulder stretch. Maybe you place a block under your chest or we try to sink the heart. Deep breathing. Tailbone high over the knees. And then we'll walk back up, threading the needle. Right arm up, twisting under, shoulder and side of the head, release. Any variations are welcome. Maybe the left arm lifts, wraps behind the back body. Maybe we tuck the left toes under and we try to stack the shoulders and breathe. You could try to balance. I might fall over. And then coming out of that safely, pressing down into the left hand, unwind. Every time I cue that, somebody rolls over onto their back in class. Inhale up. Thread the needle, breathe, right arm up, back body wrap. Maybe you find your hip, maybe you find your inner thigh, maybe you tuck your toes under, lift the kneecap up, engage the quad, the belly, roll, breathing deeply. You could try to find that moment of balance, Whew, and bring it down. Right hand is going to press down. And we're going to prop it back up. Let's find a flow. High to low. Upward facing. Downward facing. Jumping wide to Malasana. Hips up. Feet wide. Elbows pry the knees apart. Circle the head. Ear to shoulder. While we're in Malasana, a great place for crow. Wiggle the toes forward. Bring the knees into your hopefully sweaty armpits. <laughs> and then lift the hips. See if you can maintain this unit happening, belly plugging in. Press the palms down wide, shoulder width. Knee up, index finger points forward, grip the mat with the fingertips. Start to just practice transferring weight, gazing forward, and then pushing the shoulders down. Hips up high, belly plugging in. So we can just stay there. If, you're, if you have your crow pose, go ahead and go into it. Round the spine, come high on the toes, shift forward, gaze forward, play with lifting up toes. Maybe you get this float. Remember to push down through the back body like you're trying to do a cat back. Engage the core to jump back. We need to push the shoulders down, squeeze the belly, and jump the hips up. Up, dog. Down dog. If you're not there yet, no worries. Take your time to play or find rest. We're gonna try to walk the hands, the feet through the hands. So just try to step. Maybe you come onto fingertips and you try to crawl forward. Reverse table. Let's get those hips back. Hips back, shoulders forward, half an L. Have a seat. Flip the back of the hands down. Find ease on those wrists. Breathe. Inhale, lifting tall. Exhale, 
forward fold wherever that is for you maybe a towel or a strap might work see if you can first find length and then maybe you fold deeper lift up strong start to bring your fingertips down and then draw your knees into your chest good maybe you support this half boat or maybe you extend the arms layers here arms can reach up legs can pull out take a breath here we're going high to low round the spine tuck the tail firm everything high to low one more time inhale exhale see if you can lower the heels down bring the fingertips forward halfway fold can we press down that same compression round the spine lift the legs three two one good let's take the right knee in flex the left foot lift tall proud heart Take a moment, we're gonna bind like a stirrup under the foot. Pushing the foot straight, maybe up, and then pulling the knee behind the elbow. Straight, fold, tall, pull back. And then cradling the leg, flex the foot. See if you can get the ankle bone towards the heart in a rotation. Rocking your baby here. Finding that external rotation of the hip, a great prep for Lotus if you're working on it. The only way I was finally able to sit in Lotus. I can't say it's comfortable yet, but my hips do not like rotating. We all have our strengths and weaknesses, so we just uh, work with where we are, enjoy the journey, breathe here. Couple fun options, you could slide the right hand under, Take your knee wrapping around like a backpack, wrapping over your shoulder as high as you can, and then actively squeeze the knee into the arm, press the palms down, maybe you pick up your bottom and you sit, or maybe we get the whole thing, getting the foot, your elephant trunk pose, possibly to eight angle pose, and then back. You could take a half lotus here, that's in your practice, gently pressing through the inner thigh and folding. And then we're gonna cross the right foot over. Option to swing the left heel back. Sit tall and proud, allow the hips to settle. Gentle twist, left elbow hooks or wraps, right fingertips reach back we're going to press against the back hand lift the crown of the head on your inhale and exhale twist behind you <sighs> inhale lift imagine this gentle detox twisting and wringing out the internal organs breathing and rotating and making room for new blood nice counter twist take that left leg and straighten it twist it right hand grabs outside of left foot left hand's going to move into chaturanga and maybe we try to lift our butt for this baby grasshopper gaze forward heart forward have your seat release it shake out those legs inhale up exhale forward fold your stretch Fingertips by knees, power up the back body, round and lift, three, two, one. Let's take a reverse plank, reach back, heart up, toes down, maybe the head drops. One big breath here. Have a seat, flip the palms over, take your left foot in, grab onto the shin, sit up as tall as you can, and then take these stirrups under the left foot start to pull little bow and arrow we're gonna draw it forward we're gonna pry it back and then you can just play with what feels good do you need the extra hamstring stretch of the straight leg 
cradling the leg, trying to get the ankle towards the chest. Maybe you bring the foot to the elbow crease if your hips are open enough, and you just rock. We breathe and we try and bring it a little closer, pull the chest a little farther forward, keep the right leg active. Extend. Your little option, take your left hand under the leg and see if you can put your knee, your leg on like a backpack, wrapping on the outside of the shoulder. Press the palm down and squeeze the leg to the midline. So this leg has to be active or, or it's sliding off. Press down into the hands, lean forward, see if you can lift the butt or maybe everything. Option for eight angle, cross the legs, chaturanga arms, gaze forward, heart forward. Release it, nice. Take a breath. We can try that half lotus on the other side, bringing that foot in towards your thigh and then gently pressing the left thigh out. Never forcing the body, just seeing where you are in this moment and then taking your fold if that's accessible. Cross that leg over, right knee can bend, and then we settle onto the sit bones. So maybe that takes some time to find that release. And we'll add our twist. Inhale, right arm up. Elbow can hook or maybe just wrap around. Back fingers, press down into the mat. Inhale, find the length of the crown of the head and the spine. And then exhale, twist. And do that a few times with the breath. Feel the ringing of the organs as you rotate and twist. Good, and then a nice little counter stretch. Bring both hands to the other side. Re-extend that right foot. Take the left hand and see if you can grab onto the outside of the foot. We'll lift, take the right hand Press yourself forward, lift the butt, and then bring those hands, the right hand to Chaturanga, 90 degree elbow, belly in, gaze forward, heart forward. Release out of that and uncross the legs. Inhale up, last time forward folding, your place. Lift up tall, core on, belly drawing back, quads active, let the heels come with you. If you have it in you, you can find this low boat hold. Maybe you want to rest and take it to your back. That's okay. Otherwise, rock the boat with me. Six, five, four, massaging right into the sacrum, the small of the back. Breathe, you're almost there. And then, knees to chest, back of the head releases. Happy baby pose, you deserve it. Elbows pulling down, knees finding the chest or towards the shoulders. See if you can release through the tailbone and press the shoulders down so you have this compression down the back. And maybe you rock, whatever feels good for your body. You could take some straddles, butterfly, straddle, yogi's choice, little playtime. We'll do two back bends before we close. Walk the feet in, press the palms down, start to roll the hips up, and then start to shine the heart upward. So if you feel like you want a restorative bridge, you could put a block under your back, or we can bind the hands under the back body, wiggle the shoulder blades towards one another, and continue to puff up through the chest. Engaging the back body, Pressing into the feet firmly, finding space between the neck, the chin and the neck, and the chest. Breathe here. If you feel up for a bridge, a full wheel, circle those wrists, take a moment, bring the palms up by your ears, elbows high. Maybe you take a moment on the top of the head. Not a lot of weight, just enough to Press out of it. Really try to press the chest behind you. 
So we have this nice even bend. Any movement, maybe you work on straight legs, chest to the back of you, arms are strong. You could lift legs, maybe coming on the heels, on the toes gives you more space. And then when you're ready, walking out, gently releasing. Let's take waterfall. Arms and legs float. Wrists and ankles can swim, circle. Breathe here. Nice tuck right here. Squeeze. Knee to nose. Grab your opposite elbow if you can. Take a breath here. Big compression. And then surrender. Feet come down. Knees butterfly. Press your hand, one hand on your heart, one on your belly. And take some nice breaths here. Give yourself a moment of gratitude for making it through, for showing up for yourself today. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. We can do hard things. We are strong, we are powerful. We are light, we are happy. Bring the knees in and then find any place, restorative pose, Shavasana, that you would like to be in. Maybe pick up the back and the head and replace it down. Maybe shake the feet from side to side, releasing the quads and hip flexors. Hands can come out 45 degrees. Fingers will naturally curl to the heart. Let the feet flop out. Completely release any tension that you're feeling. Relax the muscles in the face, the forehead, eyebrows, jaw, tongue, the ears. Your Shavasana is just as important as all the other poses. It gives our mind and body a chance to restore and repair. All that hard work we did, we're breaking down cells, muscle, and now we're just rebuilding, allowing time to rest. Continue to scan the body for any tension. See if you can just continue to release. Stay as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, you can start to move the fingers, the toes, circle the ankles and wrists. Bring the arms over the head, feet together, long eye stretch, pulling the hips away from the ribs, and then hug the knees in. Rock and massage on that back. Start to gather up some momentum. Couple rolls on the spine. And then come on up to easy seat. Crossing the legs and allowing some ease in the hips. We can start to circle chest forward, chest back. Grab onto the shins. Find your tallest seat. Proud heart, crown to sky. Grounding sit bones. Bring the palms to heart, thumbs to sternum. Take this peaceful bow inward. Again, just thanking yourself for showing up, putting in the hard work. Maybe we didn't want to do it, we weren't feeling up for it, and we did it anyway, and hopefully you feel really great now. Deep breath in to take with you through your day or night. Big sigh out. Thank you so much for practicing with me. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.
I hope you enjoyed that yoga class. Let me know if you want to see others or any focus or maybe poses you're working on. I'll see you next time.